Cardiff were winners here last week in a thrilling 4-2 victory over Birmingham City. They have made the Cardiff City Stadium the backbone of their success. All five of their wins this season have come here. Bristol City would be almost top of the pile if they didn't keep drawing matches. Seven draws already this season. They've just turned three of those into victories. They would be in charge of the EFL Championship. Just sold out their allocation. And now they're trying to get the cross in, flashes through the six-yard area, and Ashley Williams didn't react quick enough. It was a grab he knows well. He played 26 times for Wales at this venue. That was a great opportunity. The ball flashing through the area. It just seemed to ricochet off his chest. I think he was surprised that it came so quickly at him. Curtis Nelson has to tidy up because there was a threat from Marley Watkins and that wasn't great by Etheridge, he's given it away. This is Josh Brownhill, needs to find someone. Watkins is there. It's blocked and was there a handball inside the area? There may well have been. And the chance goes. Marley Watkins, who made his first start last week since September last year. He's waited a very long time to score a goal. Might not get a better chance in the game than this. Brownhill taking advantage of Etheridge's mishap. He strikes it there. It's a good block. Good play by Bristol City. Tony Rowe joining from left wing back. No doubt that. Well, it was a well fashioned chance that from Lee Johnson's team. We started with Pereira getting himself out of a tight knot, finding O'Dowder, who did well to spread the play. Rowe opened it up on the left hand side and that gave room for O'Dowder. The ability when the ball was pulled back to him just to curl it past Neil Etheridge. He'd gone to the open side of the goal. There's a lot of room to squeeze it into. On to Bennett. Tomlin, Bogle, and then to Mendes Lang. And he hasn't scored since the end of last season when he scored twice against Manchester United. was a really good opportunity, running onto the ball at pace, but an inaccurate shot again to Mendes back. This is Lee Tomlin, he towards the far post, Bogle with a header. And the trimmer was standing behind him, saying that he had the better chance, but Bogle did test the goalkeeper. On his first shot on target, Lee Tomlin the creator, arcing ball to that far post. And they were queuing up, weren't they? Going nicely, tries to take on Pereira. It was a decent cross as well, but there was no one to take advantage inside the six yard box. Peltier with another cross, Flint looking for it once more. Comes out to Pack. Now Hoylet, he can hit them from this sort of range. He does hit it, he smashes the crossbar. Great chance for Cardiff City, so close to an opener. What an effort. Well, he doesn't seem to score tap-ins, Junior Hoylet. Only the spectacular, and you knew what was on his mind. Into him with a flick on. Here's Lee Tomlin joining the attack. Mr. City with a lot of men behind the ball here. Comes to Bakuna, he shapes the shoot. And he's never scored for Cardiff. Two can strike the ball well from the edge of the penalty area. And just knocking at the door, Cardiff City. Two Watkins. And he's fighting around the edge of the area. Moving inside it. Out wide is Pereira. Trying to take on Bennett. Back to Brownhill. He does cross the ball. And Simon got up with the header. Narrowly wide of goal. Wasn't really enough power in it to panic Etheridge in the Cardiff goal. Good cross. 
Mendes Lang trying to help on to Bogle, gets it back again. Still space for Bogle out wide if Mendes Lang can use it. Goes to Hoylet instead, back into the centre, and Williams just about deals with it. Mendes Lang didn't spot the run of Bogle on his right hand side, went to Hoylet instead. Hoylet's ball wasn't close enough to Mendes Lang to be a good enough return. Williams just happened to be stationed in the right place. Tomlin, Mendes Lang, skipping away from one challenge. Diving the ball towards the far post, pushed away by Bentley and tucked behind and away by Nadj and out for a corner. Mendes Lang just causing a few problems for the Bristol City defence. Bristol City weren't quite set there, this is Hoylet, the Kuma sizing one up, hits it, they've hit the bar again. That's twice this afternoon that Cardiff City have hit the woodwork and twice that they've hit that area of the crossbar. First Hoylet, now Bakuna with a sumptuous strike. Bentley was beaten. Here's Tomlin. He's found Hoylet with a nice little touch. Now Mendes Lang. Back towards the edge of the area. Bogle's effort is cleared. Comes back to the edge of the box and it's spanked over the top of the crossbar. A little bit uh, overcomplicated, but Bogle's attempt cleared away from inside the six-yard box will be the headline maker. Good touch by Tomlin on to Hoylet, back out wide to Mendes Lang. Teed it up nicely for Bogle. Pereira standing in the way of Cardiff and a certain goal. Good build-up play, neat football from Cardiff. The finish not sure enough, not hard enough, not with enough power. And this is Pereira, and it's in towards O'Dowda. He's got a good chance here. Callum O'Dowda, well blocked. Brilliant work from Curtis Nelson. Palmer. Oh. Tommy Rowe. Now on to Josh Brownhill. Decent hit. Fantastic goal. On his 200th career league appearance, Josh Brownhill scores the opener in the seven-side derby. Neil Etheridge has hardly had anything to do in the second half. But that's an absolute crackerjack of a finish. Tommy Rowe played a big part, Palmer handed it off to him. Rowe set up Brownhill, who had a lot of time to get the shot away. He picked his spot and found it. It's a really good effort from Brownhill. A captain's goal, a big moment, and Bristol City lead away at Cardiff City. It's his third goal of the season. And they don't come much better than that. Brownhill comes it on. This is Byman. Got space outside him for Pereira. Palmer wants it back on the edge of the area. Gives it to Byman instead. This is the problem when you're behind, you start to chase the game and there are gaps and Bristol City are trying to exploit those again. There were too many options on the edge of the area. Hoylet is in close attendance. Mendes Lang wants to come in field. Gets away from one, gets away from another. Mendes Lang strike is blocked by Ashley Williams. Well, Mendes Lang wanted more movement inside the box from his teammates. In the end he decided, I'll do it myself, thanks. One, two, three. The fourth was Ashley Williams, who stopped him from scoring. Ball number six. And towards Flint again. Oh, and he's hit the top of the crossbar again. We might need new frames for the goals at that end, the amount of times they've hit the woodwork this afternoon. Good cross towards the far post. Nadine with the header. And Bentley gratefully pulls it into his chest. Hilbert was good there going the Dean, just peeled off slightly, got himself some space, got up well. And enough power in the header. Nearly five added minutes have been played, and Casey Palmer has got the chance to set the seal on it. Lacuna comes across. There it is, the full-time whistle.
Bristol City beat Cardiff City at the Cardiff City Stadium for the first time ever. It's the first yes. time they have won in this city for 17 years. Josh Brown Hill's goal underscores their pretensions. To the delight of the 2,000 travelling fans that have come 41 miles down the road. This team means business in the Champions